I actually was fortunate enough to stumble across one of these at Value Village. I was able to get one of these. Oh my God, that almost hit me in the head. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and I typically do fashion DIYs, but I am now starting a weekly vlog. And I'm using the term weekly, obviously, loosely here. I hope I can maintain this type of filming, editing, and uploading cycle, but consistency has always been my downfall. But recently, I have gone through a breakup, so I have a lot more time on my hands. And I figured, why not try to tackle all the corners in my sewing room of unfinished projects? I hate that I have all these unfinished projects and at the same time I feel like I have nothing to wear, I have nothing I like to wear, all my clothing is boring. So we are going to try to tackle both of those problems within this weekly vlog and hopefully I can take you guys along for the journey and we can create and organize some stuff. That's kind of my goal for this. Okay, so this is a jacket that I have literally been making for almost a year now that I have stopped, I've started, I've procrastinated, and I basically finished everything about it except for the closures, and I wanted to add snap closures to my jacket, but I don't have any of the equipment to do that at the moment, and I've just kind of been procrastinating looking into it because it's like, whatever, it's not denim jacket season yet, I don't need to worry about it. Spring is fast approaching, so I have to get on it and I'm also torn because I hate the way I finished this this one edge of the bottom of the jacket the hem and I'm just trying to figure out if I actually want to take the time to sit here and seam rip and try to fix this or if I just let it go or if I kind of do some sort of embroidery stitch over top to kind of like clean up the side it's hard for me to tell what I want to do but I obviously need to figure that out before I put the snaps on because then it's official and I can't go back and make any changes. But my goal for today was to actually order the pieces that I need to insert the snaps. I was kind of torn between going somewhere to have them do the snaps for me or me kind of investing a little bit more money and actually just purchasing the things I need and learning how to do it myself so therefore I can now add snaps to anything and never think of it as some sort of limit to what I'm making. That's kind of the way I'm leaning. I just have to do a little bit of research because I actually was fortunate enough to stumble across. Oh, I was able to get one of these um, grommet and snap hand presses and holy crap this thing is so heavy i found this at value village for 15 dollars. i could not believe it if there was some information on the packaging so i was able to look up the brand and it was actually purchased off amazon but i am going to kind of look into that specific brand to see if i can find the right dies that will fit with this machine for the snaps so off to the internet we go Okay, I have purchased the things I need to do the snaps on my jacket. They should be arriving tomorrow. And in the meantime, I need to tackle something that is in my unfinished projects pile. So I'm going to take a look and see what I wanna work on. So this is one of the pieces that I thrifted probably like a year ago and I just never altered it, but I saw the potential that it could have. I really love the fabric and I love the print and I like how it's like a longer length dress. I can't fully get into frame, but what I noticed when I put it on is that this is a woven fabric and there is actually no zipper closure or anything. So if I make this more fitted, I will not be able to get in or out of it. So I will need to put a zipper in and of course that's just always, you know, all the work that you don't want to do. But I don't actually have a zipper that matches this right now, so I will have to add that to my list of things I am going to pick up from the fabric supply shop. I will make a trip there tomorrow so I can hopefully get this little DIY done this week. So since I can't do much with this today, I'm going to put this on hold <laughs> again and grab something else from my pile. Okay, so this cute little number has been in my pile for I don't know how long, and one of the reasons why I don't wear it is because it's just a little too long. I would like it to maybe just sit around the natural waist instead of the hip. And as I was trying this on, I realized one, 
of the shearing panels is starting to come undone. Um, and I don't know, I obviously need to do something about this. I'm trying to figure out if I want to like somehow make shift it and fix it or just like cut it and hope for the best. But once I take it off, I'll be able to assess how bad the damage is. Before I do, I do just want to pin off how much I'm removing. This is honestly not very exciting of a project, but it's just one of those things if I just don't hold myself accountable, I'm never gonna do it. So we're doing it on camera. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to tackle with this little project is the stitching that is coming undone. It's only a really small portion of it, so I'm going to try to redo it. To fix the stitching, I threaded the top of my machine with red, and for the bobbin, I used an elastic thread so I can still get that shearing effect. Then sewed along the missing stitch line. I measured out how much I wanted to remove from the hemline and adding a half inch seam allowance before using my rotary blade to cut it, using the cutoff to test my stitching. To set up my machine, I made sure my tension was set to 3, width is set to 4, length to 1, and of course, make sure you are on the zigzag stitch. Okay, now comes the time consuming part, the lettuce hem. All I am going to do is fold this up a quarter inch, roughly, and allow my machine to do the work. This is a little time consuming. You don't want to pull too hard because you want to make sure the stitches stay close together to get that kind of like embroidery effect at the hem. Um, one thing I do really recommend you doing is making sure that you have some sort of needle in your machine that works with stretch fabrics. So either a stretch needle or a ballpoint needle. I have switched to a ballpoint needle and that made such a huge difference. So yeah, let's give this a try. So the last thing I have to do for this is to just clean up the edges and trim off any of the excess that's showing on the inside and then I'm gonna try this on again. I'm obsessed! I think it's perfect now. It's actually wearable and I can take it out of this room and move it into my closet so I can start wearing it. So that'll be it for me for today. I will see you in a few days when my Amazon package gets delivered and also when I have purchased my zippers. Stay tuned! Welcome to a brand new day! Yesterday I was able to stop in at the leather sewing supply shop here in Toronto and I was able to find the supplies I needed. I was looking for an invisible red zipper for the dress project. I actually, right before filming, I unzipped it all the way and realized there's no zipper stopper and it came completely undone. And I'm just so proud of myself that I was able to thread it back together, especially with these nails. It was a little challenging. Now that I have my zipper, I'm going to go and put on the red dress again and I'm actually going to put it on inside out just so I can kind of mark up the inside and not have to worry about it showing or pins. Yeah. Once the dress was on, I pinned it to get an idea of how much I would be taking in from the waist seam, side seams, and center back. After pinning, I went in and marked with chalk. Something about this dress feels a little off, so I feel like it was like cut on the bias, kind of weird. I don't know. It's just one of those like sensations in the fabric, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna see what we can do. I'm also going to be closing up this side seam here. I really hate it. I hate this slit. So I'm gonna open it up and close it. I think that'll be a little better. Okay, let's get started. So I started with the waist seam by pinning it flat and drawing my sew line, removing about an inch and a half. Once I passed the fit test, I trimmed off the excess and surged the raw edge. Then I removed what I had marked off on both side seams. Then I cut down the back of the dress to create my center back seam for my zipper. Here we go, I'm gonna take, take the plunge. I just wanna cut the seam allowance for the zipper and I'm also taking off about an inch at the same time. Before inserting the zipper, I thought adding interfacing would make the process a little easier since my material was pretty flimsy. Then I sewed in my invisible zipper. Okay, so this is my first fit test with the zipper inserted and to be honest, 
The fit of the dress is pretty nice. I've really got it like figured out in the waist. The only thing I need to fix is the waviness in the zipper. So I think it's just like a little uneven and that's what's causing it to wave. So I'm gonna like fiddle with that. Zippers are my kryptonite. I'm so bad at zippers, it's so frustrating. So I am going to take the time and seam rip it and <laughs> fix it. That's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of tonight. Okay, it is the next day, but it is time for the reveal of this dress. I'm a little scared, but fingers crossed. Let's see how it looks. Personally, the fit is honestly like great, but it's the zipper that's still giving me trouble. I think that's what I'm coming to realize is that it's an issue with the bias of the dress. So scrapping the zipper idea, I'm actually going to completely remove the zipper and just sew up the back seam. I was able to do like the test with the zipper still intact to see if I can t put it on and take it off over my head without a zipper and I can, I just have to be a little bit careful. So I'm not done yet, but I'm almost done. I just have to remove the zipper and then I'm just gonna close up that seam and we're gonna call it a day and that dress is gonna be done. And I will insert a very quick clip right now so you can see how it finally turned out. But that's actually gonna be it for this week's vlog. I am going to get to the snaps for that jacket next vlog. And oh, also, I didn't mention this earlier, but I'm actually in the middle of editing the tutorial of making this. So I really gotta get those snaps in place because I wanna finish that tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see what other fashion DIYs I'm cooking up and what I have been up to. And hopefully I'll be posting a lot more consistently now. So be sure to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.